Hello, it's Alt Rider here, and as you can see, we've had a little bit of a change of location again. I did a couple of videos earlier, and it was a little bit dark. Uh, however, I thought I'd try and use a light in my bedroom now to to show you the toys a little bit better. Um, what I thought I'd do today, and I mentioned it in one of my earlier videos, is do a quick review of Titan's Return Broadside. Now, this guy has fr uh, three official modes, including his robot mode, and I'm going to throw in a few fan modes as well. I think a total of three. Two that I've copied off other people, and one that I've invented myself. Um, which is probably the worst one. <laughs> um, so, uh, I haven't got the box, because I've actually thrown it away, unfortunately, uh, before I did the review, but never mind. Here is Broadside himself. Now, you can see he has got a nice bit of detailing, um, panel lines and all that kind of stuff. Nice moulding. Um... I actually really like this figure. He's clumsy, he's big, he's stupid, but you know what? He's so much fun. Um, so, uh, let's go with articulation first. His head can do a full 360, and it can come off as well, as Type Masters do. His arms can rotate a full 360, but you need to move, move these wing panels out the back in order to do so. Elbows can go 90 degrees. No wrist articulation, you have got a hole where the fist goes as well, which is a little bit disappointing. But it's pretty custom with these figures. I've actually got a mistransform here, so I'll move these down a little bit. So you can you can do kind of the full Van Damme. You can do the full Van Damme. Um, his legs can go all the way forward, like so. And they can go all the way back. They uh, can also bend at the knee. And you do get some forward and back due to transformation, mainly back actually, uh, on the feet. No ankle tilt, no waist swivel, no arm, well you'll get an arm swivel, sorry. You only get a, a swivel slightly on the leg. Um, he does have the gimmick, like a lot of Titan Masters, where if you press this button here, he gets these side little missile launchers pop up. And he comes with a gun. That Titan Master can sit in like so, and also some planes. Where I'll, I'll get into those a little bit later. So, let's make him a little bit bright. You can see his head sculpt there. He's a pretty cool figure. Now, how I like to display him is not with this gun, but with this gun. Now, I believe this is from a Cyberverse Transformers Prime Bumblebee exosuit thing. Uh, I found it in a bag of bits I bought and it matches the blue on him quite nicely so I think that gun suits this guy a hell of a lot better than this one uh, obviously I will keep this one around but really I think this one looks a lot better on him you can plug the Titan put Master Port in there if you want to have a little bit of shoulder cannon action all in all I think that's it for bot mode uh, there is a port on his penis so if you do wish you can give him a bit of a nodder which um, is a thing you might want to do that there you go that's really it for his robot mode and as usual with Hasbro Titan Masters blunderbuss here does not have much paint on him at all actually not at all so here is Broadside in probably his best official mode, his aircraft carrier mode. And you can really see here where the mould shares similarities with Alpha Trion, especially in this section here. Unfortunately, I haven't got Alpha with me at the moment. Um, but as you can see, some lovely detail, and I love this sticker here. Mine doesn't tend to tap together right. I don't know if that's something I'm doing wrong. But you've got some great detail in stickers. You've got the run right here. You also get a number of um, small planes that come with him. Hang on. So you get these little planes, um, which are very reminiscent to the area bots. This one, definitely Silver Bolt. Uh, that one's definitely Air Raid. Uh, Skydive is there. And the other two, not quite got the same similarity. Now, these can actually peg on to some of the ports that are situated, the Titan Master pegs all over here. So you can get a nice little display going with him. Um, I haven't taken those off yet simply because with the move being imminent, I don't want to lose them. Um, you can also take his gun and you can plug, plug it in many ports on the deck. Well, not that one, actually. 
Mm, that's a screw on. Uh, maybe it's just that one then. So you can plug it there on the deck and you can take his turret mast and you can stick him in there and you can have him as a gunner if you do so wish. If you want to have a look at the underside, uh, as you can see there's like a, there's a sled thing, stand thing there and there's two of these. Oh, knock them down. So he can balance quite well. Um, it's a pretty decent alt mode and a, a nice little homage to his generation one self. So here is Titan's return broadside in his slightly, well, weaker jet mode. Um, with most of these Voyager, uh, Voyager style Titan's Return figures, one mode is always a little bit weak. For for example, Astro Train, the train mode was a little bit weak. For Alpha Trion, the spaced iron in board mode was a little bit weak. This is Broadside's weakest mold. Um, let's have a look at some of the details. So you've got some of the stickers here. You've got some of the ship details hanging out there. You've got some of the fins which look to be the wrong way around maybe. So you can open Broadside's cockpit and place his Titan Master inside. And he does lock down pretty well. Um, it's okay this mode. I mean... The back bits don't tend to peg in very well. It'd be fun for a kid, um, but not so much for us collectors. And you can also take his gun and you can plug that into the top there. Uh, it looks okay, not too bad. Um, as I say, great for a kid, not for us. You can actually do a fan mode of this, and Broadside is full of various fan modes. Um, so if we move these forward a little bit, you straighten the legs down. You move these parts out, which are part of his deck for stability. And then you move these back down. You actually get a pretty decent jet mode. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, it looks quite nice. It's flat. It won't sit flat on the surface, but you can plug his gun underneath. And it acts kind of like landing gear. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks a pretty good jet mode. And yes, it doesn't tag, um, tab together very well, but neither does the official mode. Pretty cool. So what I want to do with your young broadside now is show you a couple of fan modes I've found. Uh, and this is the first one. So I've put broadside in what looks like a kind of mech walker. Um, I've had to reverse the legs round backwards and bring the feet back on themselves just so we can position the cockpit in the right way. You can, if you like, can reposition these arms and have arms by flipping out the hands and having that kind of look going on, if you wish. Uh, but that does move the position of where of where the uh, the wings actually go. And what you can also do is take Broadside's weapon and you can plug it in at the back here. Oh, I've dropped his Titan Master two seconds. There you go. So you can put the Titan Master in there and I think that looks pretty good. Or you can remove this here and you can place it in one of the ports in his arms there. Um, I think that's a pretty decent fan mode if I don't say so myself. And you can also get a pretty good base mode out of him. Now, don't get me wrong here. Things aren't really that pegged in and stable here. But, I mean, you've got a little balcony area where some Titan maskers can sit out and, and enjoy a glass of Chardonnay in the summer nights if they wish to when they're not fighting with other little Titan masters. You've got um, loads of ports where you can put on titan masters and i think this looks actually pretty good as a kid i'd be happy to play with this in, uh, as a base and i think it's because all of these these decking areas that are there uh from the aircraft carrier mode i think it really really works this figure is so much fun to play with it's so much fun to actually just fiddle with and you can get so many decent fan modes out of it so I hope you've enjoyed my little Titans Return broadside and blunderbuss review. Uh, if you're looking for one of these, they're starting to turn up in the UK in Toys R Us. And believe it or not, they're actually on sale, the same price as the standard Titan Masters, you know, like the Laser Prime and Megatron. So he actually cost me £18.49, which is pretty stunning uh, for a Voyager figure, which we haven't had in this country for full price. 
if you are desperate to get him and you haven't got a local Toys R Us near you or they're out of stock, you can get them from the likes of Capella Toys, but you will be paying a little bit more than, than the cheap price Toys R Us are letting them go for. All in all, though, he's a great figure. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I've been Zort Rider, and again, I think I'm going to have to look at the location where I do my next video because the lighting has been on and off again. Have a good evening.